doing well considering what she went through. Oh, I know she's been through heck. Uh, but uh, she is having some problems with her trach. Mm. And what, healing up. Right. It's not healing right. So now we got to go and have it, as they put it, mended. Mm. Which to me is means correct what they didn't do right. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Sometimes they graft skin over it, you know, oh, if it's really? not healing right. Or like they did with Doris, they stitched the inside. Oh. What and happened when she expected, healed it? You know, because she has to clean that out continually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, but it's still an infected, so. Oh, I saw it. She was on like a special cream that they make to help that, but this last appointment, this last week, or this week, earlier this week, I say, they made her stop take, uh, stop using the, the ointment and gave her another antibiotic and then said you need to schedule an appointment with this doctor that does the trach stuff. Specialist. To mend it, oh. as they put it. Uh, apparently it's he's he's cooking bottle water. Or, or whatever. But other than that, she's doing pretty good. Well, she's a strong woman to put up with all that. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, she's been through life. so much. Uh, yeah. Fritz could probably spend the whole rest of breakfast uh, yeah. and not even finish everything that woman's been through. Yeah. Go through that. It's, it's amazing sometimes. Thank you. Going back You're on somebody going through stuff like that. That's more trials. That's more trials than the average person goes through in their lifetime. Oh, absolutely. More trials. Than, I'll be honest. It's more trials than what seven you, people. Yeah, you, you, you probably life. would. You probably wouldn't have wanted to gone through it, except that if you could re do it for her. Yeah. 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 yeah that's the hard part about being a caregiver. Is you, in your heart, it breaks for the person, yeah. and you would yeah. rather go through it yourself than to have to sat, sit there and really help her believe. Well, with the exception of, you know, praying for her, right. what this whole thing is about. Right. Right. Yeah, and yeah. The, Lord, you know. the miracle that's... Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, and the Lord can teach us stuff. Like, oh, my wife went through breast cancer, and I realized there wasn't a darn thing I could do but trust the Lord 110% and pray. Right. And, and later on, I realized, you know, that was a, a way to humble me, too. Because he told me later, he said, she's going to minister to other women that aren't as strong in faith as her, that this might blow them out. You know, two weeks after they told her she was totally clean, she was ministering to someone that found out they had breast cancer. And I got the minister to husband and told them, look, don't get mad at God. You just settle down and listen to him, and all you can do is pray, because that's all you can do. And that helped him so much. That was Bill, you know? Good. And other, and she's talked to others like that too. You know, it's like you just don't know what we're going to go through that God can use on the other end. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting. This week's an experience. What I, the feedback I get from people now on it is, is, is they go like, "Wow, he was on a ventilator, a feeding tube, had to have that emergency trach done, and she came out of it." Yeah. I mean, there's. It's just not many people go that far. Wow and then come back, yeah. and that's the Lord. <coughs> Amen. A lot of Amen. people are praying for her, and I really believe in that, too. And Is it I witnessing mean, to the doctors? Uh, I mean, uh, oh, some of the doctors are going. <laughs> well, what, yes, because how fast she recovered from it. I mean, what, it, She's she probably was, in a few textbooks somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the doctors were. In the, in the past, she has been because in the past, they, they took a, a tumor the size of your heart out of her. It had its own blood supply and stuff. Yeah, they they took it out of her <clears throat> and then shipped it over to what was that FSU, where they have some kind of a, a, a specialty thing over there. Mm -hmm. It went into there. <laughs> but that was 20, 30 years ago, whatever yeah. that was. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's just amazing what God does in his witness. He encourages those going through it. Yeah. Like the brother over here, man, my heart goes out to him. Yeah. How's your wife doing? Still bad. No, still bad. Because he's there. He's still bad. Yeah. Under yeah. yeah. her, she's been through for the last 10 years. Oh, my. 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 O
So he knows exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. You are the thing that we have to trust God. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's it's the know. national average. And like what you said about how's it, to, you know, how's it from testifying to the doctors? Most it's like my wife's doctor. She yeah, said, he thing. said, and he's he's Indian. He, he said, when I saw you, he said I was. Doctors will see you at a to a certain point, and they'll say they're not going to take you because they know you're going to lose. Okay. He said that was my first thought. He said, but there was something about you, and I took decided to take your case out. Okay, and he, his <laughs> mind was totally blown because after just one set of treatments, six places in her body, and they couldn't find the cancer in her. And he goes, so he's sitting there going, we're sitting in there, and he said, somebody was watching over you, and she's going, yeah, my Lord. <laughs> That's the healer. And he, uh, East Indian, I don't, I don't believe he's Christian, but he's getting there. <laughs> and he said, he, he, he said, amen. Well, I pray that my son runs into that. Amen. He's a doctor of family medicine. And he's all about science and maybe starting to question some spirituality, but I think he's maybe got an opportunity to run into one of those miracles that Amen. that'll witness to him oh, like, absolutely. like his stepdad can't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, they just released a, 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 a survey amongst doctors in this country, and more and more doctors are saying they're seeing that six, the, the their patients who are Christian <coughs> heal 60 to 70 percent faster right, than those that aren't prayed for. Okay, is that is that? That's uh, a doctor's in a journal. <coughs> yeah, that was you know in the AMA. AMA. AMA released that, and they said you know that you know they said the Praise spiritual God. side of it can help your body heal quicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just believe in God and let Him do it. That's like when the, <laughs> the uh, I'll use it one of my classes if the I can. Federal government, you know. They, they were researching all these different uh, rehab programs and how so many of them have a terrible fail rate. Yes, absolutely. And then they looked at uh, uh, they, David they, Wilkerson. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Team Challenge. Team Challenge. Team Challenge, Team Challenge, yeah. Team Challenge has a stitch of things. And they spent a bunch of money on this report. And if you read the report, at the end, the last guy says, the difference was the Jesus factor. The federal government had to admit that it was the Jesus factor and Teen Challenge that made a difference in these people recovering That's right. and staying recovered. And they're high numbers. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, the, even, recivit even recidivism, which isn't necessarily relapse yeah. on a drug, but just recidivism, which means going back to jail or prison, right. <coughs> in the federal government, yeah. faith-based well, prisons. That's your expertise, you know that. Yeah, well, the federal prisons, Christian centered or faith based groups is uh, like 60% uh, better. Yeah, than higher than that. Yeah. yeah, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> go ahead. I can identify with you, with, with your son, you said it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My brother Stepson, yeah. had his oldest boy, incredibly smart kid. And uh, he actually now, he's a professor that teaches doctors. Uh -huh. <laughs> So he's made the six plus figure in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. Mean, he, I mean, he can't do any better. But he's got the same problem. You know, uh, the science has taken over the theology that he was taught when he was young. You know, and it breaks my heart because he was a good kid. I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, and he went to, you know, he started off in Christian school and somehow we lost it. You know, I mean, the Christian community somehow lost it. You know, so it's a matter of, you know, continual prayer and stuff. Yeah. Well, pray, and pray, again, for him, pray for him as a prodigal. Yeah. Well, the, the, the yeah, the uh, fact that their success and their mental discipline that it takes to get through yeah. these rigorous courses yeah. is a great work ethic and everything else, but they start to rely on themselves. Mm -hmm. right? And their power to be able to achieve, and there's a, maybe a certain pride factor in that. Yeah, they don't now, realize who gave the, them that. Well, smart the point system. being is, is once they get through some of that journey, yeah. and they get a little bit older, and they start to see, well, what did this money get? What you know, yeah. there's they start asking about their soul and what what is my happiness and where do I go for that? So this starts that spiritual journey, because you know you. You start making two hundred and some thousand dollars a year. Well, yeah. man, that's playtime for the first couple of years. Oh, what am yeah. I going to do? Yeah. You're all involved in buying houses, or yeah, you, you know, all, all of this whistles, other yeah. bells and whistles, yeah. and 
and being empowered that, you know, well, I finally made it. I deserve this. You know, I right. sacrificed or whatever, but then we'll come. Right. As you Where's mature, my happiness? As you Where's mature, my... you start thinking, yes. well, why was I, <coughs> they would use the, probably the word luckier than this guy? Mm -hmm. And then you got to realize, if you're really honest with yourself, well, God blessed you with this, that smart, with that ability. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You know, and, you and would you were talking about science and how that draws them away like that. And it's been quite a few years ago that I read an article, but there was a scientist that grew up in the church and he was working with the NASA, with NASA and all them. And when they, or he, he was relating back to the earlier, you know, rocket launches and they couldn't figure out how to get it back in. The trajectory has to be just right or it's gonna time. bounce off and disappear. And he, he was doing all this, all the equations and everything else and it just was, and he said, I remembered back to my Sunday school classes. And he said, I went back in the Bible and he took all the times that the earth stood still. And, the dot, and he added dot, that dot into the equation and it worked out perfect. They've been using it ever since. Yep. That's a great, that's a great story. And it was, you ready for this? Yeah. It was in Reader's Digest. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard this before. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's a true it's amazing. I, I just never forgot it. It's just like. Wow, you know, I mean, this was, I think this... Well, what gave him, here's the key, not the fact that that was in the Bible or whatever, but what gave him the 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 idea to look his there? Er, his yeah. early learning in yeah. Sunday school. Yeah, yeah his, see, his Bible school, amazing? His Bible school when he was growing up in and church. Word won't return void. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, on another tangent of science, everything that surrounds us right now in this room starts out as a thought. Mm. never existed. Right. Right. Even an electrical impulse. Right. This table could have been built without thinking of it first, so how to make a read. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. About it. Absolutely. Yeah. And every, every design has to be, has to be it's it's thought in an invisible yeah. world. And, it and it's based on stuff that's already been thought of, it's just in a new way. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? A new. But you can't build a building until you put it on a piece of paper. And you that's that's, that's right. why it's so hard to believe that this and that's a lot world like our life. And, and everything in it just. Boop. By chance, <laughs> you know, yeah. 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 You gotta have it. Gotta have an architect. You know what I mean? Right. Didn't um, uh, didn't uh, Noah build the ark? Uh, from he drew the up the blueprint. Yeah. Well, he got it from the Holy Spirit, and it's yeah. very interesting. Paul says, "I learned everything I know from the Holy Spirit," and I mean, he knows everything. You know, it's God. So you, all you got to do is listen, which is the, that's the the the, the art. Listening, you know, the art of listening is, you know, which I, I pray for that <coughs> gift every morning, you know, because you, you know, you, you, you yeah. go, you go the way you're supposed to. Really, uh, it's, you've got to be God led. I mean, yeah. you know. I was always taken yeah. by that story as a young boy and stuff, but the most amazing thing out of that whole thing, and still today touches me, is God's got the door and sealed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, and who it, closed the and door? And this was I over a hundred yeah. year period. And people saw it happening, and and like what we run into here, they mock us, they joke, and everything else, and that's when they laughed. It's like, I don't know how many of you know this, but Methuselah, his grandfather, his name meant when he dies, it will come. They knew there was going to be a flood of some sort. Yeah. When Methuselah died, they're all joking, oh, he's dead, nothing's happening, but they forgot that their culture. They give him seven days to mourn. On the seventh day, the rain started. God sealed that door, and none of them could get in. Yeah. And it's amazing yeah. how his, his yeah, plans they, work but exactly they mocked right him the whole in his time. He built it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, science has proved has proven the flood already. Yep. You know. Oh yeah. That it, it's. They didn't know, set out a, to do that. It's but not that a was story. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's not just a story. Yeah, it's historical flood fact. Layer in the and earth it. itself, mm -hmm. the flood level. Yeah. A layer of earth that shows there was a catastrophic yeah. flood event oh, yeah. all over the world. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, and all the cultures have yeah. a flood story. Most they, cultures they, they, yeah. they, have a flood story they, in their history. They have found some evidence of the area where the uh, where where it that landed in Ararat, and they're searching in the ground up in that area now. They think they may have found the area where Noah's Ark settled in. After well, the I've the been hearing that for 15, 20 years. Yeah, but they've been getting closer they're all they're the time. They're not going to find the Ark. Well, you They'll know, find what the remnants. You know, yeah. because they they had no trees because the trees had floated away or whatever, yeah, got right. destroyed. They only had the ark, and they had to build houses. Right. And they needed firewood and all the rest of it, so that thing is gone, has to be gone. I, 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 no, because yeah. from what from what everything I've read in the history, in the, in the Hebrew history and everything else, it ended up on the mountains where nobody lived. Right. And it's a, still, right. to this day, it's a right. desolate area. Oh, yeah. 
Well, and but that, that wood would, one, would exactly. decay. Yeah. But the kind of wood that the Lord had him use is the kind of wood that lasts for centuries. I think we're showing those pictures of it in that ice cap. Remember that? Yeah. 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 And it also I don't know what that was. Right. The Ararat Mountains. Shadows. That's called the Ararat Mountains. Yeah. The range. Yeah. And it's so it's the one. No, they're way up there in that general area, and they said over the years they've been able to narrow it down. <laughs> Excuse me. Who knows? You know, may, Thank you. maybe Jesus will come back and show them where it's at. I don't know. <laughs>